Hello, this is Michael Paul with New Orleans Scottish Rite College. I'd like to do a short video today that takes a look at one of the symbolic working tools in Freemasonry. It's one that we learned about as an apprentice masons, the 24-inch gauge. I'm going to give you a paragraph from the Louisiana Masonic Monitor. If you're from another jurisdiction, this short section may vary slightly in the wording, but the meaning will be the same. The 24-inch gauge is an implement used by the operative masons to measure and lay out their work, but we as free and accepted masons are taught to use it for the more noble and glorious purpose of dividing our time. It being divided into 24 equal parts is emblematic of the 24 hours of the day, which we are taught to divide into three equal parts, whereby are found eight hours for the service of God and a distress-worthy brother eight hours for our usual vocations, and eight hours for refreshment and sleep. So let's stop for a minute and think about what's being said here. If we break it down, then we can see that the 24-inch gauge is a symbol for time management. We use it to remind us of how we can best spend our time during any day. But is this particular division of time really workable in today's society? We are told that our 24-hour day should be divided with eight hours being devoted to the service of God or a distressed Mason, and then another eight hours for a job, and then the final eight hours for sleep or maybe sleep and eating. What about our family? Where do they fit in? What if we are required by economics to work more than eight hours a day? Is this a realistic division of our time? I believe that the lesson of the 24 inch gauge is a symbolic lesson. I don't believe that it was designed to be a hard and fast set of instructions. A symbol is value to us because it can be used to teach us something that may not be obvious. I believe that the lesson being taught here is one that I have spoken of a number of times, balance. I don't believe that we should serve God with a stopwatch in our hand. I can't imagine punching a time clock and getting off of our devotional work when the time limit is up. I don't believe that's what's meant here. I believe that the point is that we balance our day with everything that's important to us as a human. We must do some sort of work to be able to provide for ourselves and our family. We must be able to spend time with our family, to rest, to eat, to sleep, and just relax. We must do the work that we were put here to do by the Almighty, and that includes helping others as well as ourselves. If we do any one of these things to the exclusion of all else, then we become out of balance. Once we are out of balance, we're not able to properly do any of the tasks needed for a successful life. I believe that the lesson of the 24-inch gauge is to teach us to stop and look at the entire picture of our life. We should spend our days doing what the Almighty intended, enjoying life, recognizing that we are only part of a whole, and making sure that our life is spent in a way that when we are no longer around, we will be remembered as someone who was worthy. There is an old saying, all work and no play may shack a dull boy. It's true. If all we do is try to earn money or do anything to excess, then we become out of balance. Our life will not be rounded and complete. The lesson of the 24 inch gauge is not meant to teach us to punch a time clock and be rigid as to how we spend our days and time. It is to teach us that we ought to be fully rounded and do all of the things that are necessary for a productive and valuable life. Thank you for watching. If you find these videos of value, please like the video and subscribe to us. See you next time.